Perfect. Got a new drip from Hava. This amazing looking compact countertop dishwasher. This is the R01. So let's check it out. So this is the box right here. That's the front side. It's a compact countertop dishwasher. It's the R01 by Hava. We have the energy index, the rating right here. And this is a great box, by the way. It has two carrying handles. Carrying this is easy. Right here we have the specs. We will get to that in a second in detail. It weighs a bit over 13 kilograms. Don't step on it. We also have the back side right here. Presumably the back side is the same as the front side. And again, this side right here. And we've already seen this one as well. So let's open it up. On top, we have this protective padding right here and then the first thing that you will see is a manual right here we'll get to that in a second and inside this plastic bag we have the actual dishwasher actually you know what there we go this will make it easier okay bottom padding and here we go it has a sci-fi look it's actually beautiful oh my goodness look at that this is looking high quality i love it one, two, three, four. Okay, let's get to the accessories and to the manual. Oh yeah, that's actually perfect. So let's see, we got this drawer right here, this rolling drawer with all the accessories taped to it basically, so... There are actually quite a lot of accessories, so this is the drawer with this attachment right here. Then we have this little cage right here. You can also open up the top and you can put this one right here or wherever you want, of course. Then you also get a little basket right here for all sorts of different things. And you will also get this from the top and from the bottom with a capacity of 1.8 liters in total. And then you will get the hose. Actually, you will get two of them. This is what they look like. And now let's take a look at the manual. So here we have the product information sheet. So check it out. And the lower part right here with all the specs. And here we have the manual. Let's check it out. This is a really thick manual and we have three languages in here. 19 pages in total. That's the first page, by the way. Page two and three, four and five, six and seven, eight and nine, 10, 11, 12 and 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and the last two pages. So as you saw, this is an extremely detailed manual. Love that. Props to the company. And to recap, these are all the accessories. This basket, this container, the drawer, two hoses, and the manual, and a spec sheet. So done with the unboxing, let's get to my first impressions. This is my first <laughs> dishwasher review. This is <laughs> quite special. And I was not expecting this level of quality, to be honest. I thought this is like a funny kitchen gadget, but the build quality is actually top notch. As you can see, this is totally solid. It's not wobbling around or anything like that. I'm surprised in a very pleasant way, to say the least. All right. It's a super solid mechanic and I always love that. Honestly, this is straight out of these TikToks from these Chinese influencers. They have like a few dozen of these gadgets in their kitchen and then they get a surprise visitor and then they clean up their whole flat. This is literally what they would use. This is so funny. As I said, the mechanic is top notch and sturdy. Awesome build quality, what I can tell so far. So this is the front and the side. It has a carrying handle down here. You can easily grab it. This carrying handle right here, perfect for grabbing it. On the side, it has this air vent. This is the back side. All surfaces have this glossy, shiny white finish. Down here, we have the plug-in power, of course. And then we have the water inlet and outlet. Down here, we have another little spec sheet. And this is the last side, completely blank, as you can see. Another carrying handle. This is what the bottom looks like. We have four nice rubber feet. And it looks like with just one screw, you can open up 
the floor, remove this tray and give it a deep clean if need be. Yeah, and here we have the inlet and the outlet. This is what they look like. And lastly, here we have the top. Let me switch it around so that's better. First of all, we have this cover right here. Check it out. That's the cover, backside of the cover. You feed it from the top and also we have like quick start guides right here. This is actually rather thick plastic, so I think this is not intended to be removed, although you probably can. These are like high quality plates intended to be left alone, to be left on it. All right, and this thing has a twist lock, so now it's locked and then just twist it, remove it and that's how that works. Then here we have the lid, the hinges, high quality hinges right there, as I said, surprisingly good and the insides of the dishwasher right here. So we have this metal mesh, this is the filter for the you know big parts. We also have this, everything will end up in here and this is you can remove it and empty it out. So again that's where the water will get out, twist and lock as before and this is where the water will spray out the main water propeller. All right and we also have a secondary one up in here right on and we also have two rails up here okay now let's try to insert the drawer nice so we have the handle in front and we can just pull it out and there are two little end stops right here for the drawer but you can of course also take it out all the way but as you saw it's a bad idea end stops for the win and there we go. All right, drawer is inside and we are ready to go, I guess. It's time to plug it in. Love the sound already. So, and now we can see the menu bar up here. Let me read you the warning notices. So the dishwasher undergoes a quality test for the water inlet before it leaves the factory. So a little residual water is normal, like these water droplets that we saw. Unplug the plug on the water inlet at the back before connecting the water inlet hose. Do not block the air vent on the right side of the dishwasher. Be careful of high temperature steam burns. Do not open the glass door while washing as the hot water may scald you. Scald you. Right, so don't get burned. If you need to open the door, touch the pause button first and then slowly open the door. The dry mode cannot be paused or canceled during operation. If you want to exit the mode, touch and hold the power button for three seconds to turn off the dishwasher. Oh. Okay, so we have a nice menu bar up here with the start pause button with the mode button. Let's see. Dry, normal, speed, soft, baby care, heavy and fruits. You can actually also wash fruits in here. Okay. Oh, and you can also activate or deactivate the dry option except for fruit also there's the timer right here wow 19 minutes of fruit washing they will be very clean by then i guess lastly we have this so this container is intended for filling up the water tank so open up the tank lid and fill it up with about 1.3 gallons or 5 liters of water three of those pictures when a tank is full three beeps will be heard we already went through the warnings and before we get to the test let's also read this section right here so obviously remove large and hard food scraps before putting the tableware into the dishwasher this is you know always recommended refer to the illustration on the left when loading it up so like that basically hollow items facing downwards. Use a professional dishwasher detergent and don't use it in the fruit mode and ensure that the glass door is completely closed. Also make sure that the dishwasher is connected to a kitchen faucet or that the water tank is full. Also make sure the drain hose is properly installed. Touch and hold the on button, on off button for three seconds to turn on the dishwasher and touch the mode button to choose a wash cycle. Then press play or pause to start the cycle. And again, touch and hold the on off button for three seconds to turn it off. For better drying and to prevent odors, turn on the dry mode with any washing mode, other than with the fruit mode. As we saw, you can't use it in the fruit mode. The dry mode can also be turned on separately. Simply touch the mode button and choose the dry mode and then touch play to start. So yeah, you can 
just use the dry mode too. And when the wash cycle is completed, there may be a few droplets on the dishwasher's interior, and this is normal, of course. When the water tank is not used for a long time, it is recommended to empty the water tank by touching and holding both dry and the on-off button simultaneously for three seconds to drain out the water. Good stuff, now let me tell you all about the specs and the features. So again, I already showed you this page, but again, here are all the specs. Specs sheet right here, program durations, everything basically. Just pause the video and check it out. And I will of course also listen link everything about this product in the description. If you want to know more about that, read up online. First of all, we need to connect the drain hose. There is this pipe clamp and this needs to go right here. And now, just like that, easy as that. And this is the water faucet hose. All right, so now we can just take the drain pipe and into the sink, easy. And this one, actually I'm just realizing that this won't fit my, I will just leave it here. Power, let's turn it on. Let's start with something easy. So as I've learned by now, this is a, this is a fruit basket for washing fruit. And check this out, I actually have grapes. This should be perfect. So fruit goes into the fruit basket and into the dishwasher. Fruit is already selected. Again, if you tap the mode button, you can cycle through them. And now let's see what will happen if I just press the start button. Okay, so there is no water inside. That's why it's flashing. And you can also see it right here, right here. So that was actually my first test. So bucket right here and up here, right here you can fill it up. So 1.8 liters and two, okay. That should do. There's like 3.6 liters in here. Let's close the lid. So react I just reactivated the light. Okay, and now we should be ready to go. Oh, it's so much heavier now. Oh my goodness. Okay, maybe I need to fill it up all the way. Oh, yeah, there we go. Just keep on filling it up until it will beep. That is the sign. And now wash my fruits, please. Wash my grapes. Oh, okay, it will stop. When you open it up, it will actually stop. Oh, there we go. Yep, it will stop. I, I had to try it, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, let me show you the upper one. Yeah, that's also the loudness, by the way. So as you can see, or here is, is actually not too bad. It's like a regular one and it's a great show. And by the way, up here is the remaining time. By the way, the drain pipe has this little suction cup right here. That's a pretty neat feature. Almost 20 minutes for washing fruit is a bit excessive, but why not? <laughs> One minute to go and it just started to drain some water. So let me resume the program and yeah, check this out. Yeah, so the last minute will be for draining the, the water and now it's, it's talking to us. I'm ready. And now after almost 20 minutes of washing, these grapes are not super clean. They are ultra clean. These are the cleanest grapes that I will ever eat probably. Look at that. Okay, they still look like grapes. That's, that's good. Done with the first test. And now I don't have an excess amount of plates, but I saw this awesome video. I will of course listen link this in the description as well. She also loved this little dishwasher and she filled it up to the brim and it was quite surprising how much she was able to fit in here. All I have to offer are three dirty plates and a fork, <laughs> but better than nothing, I guess. Before we get to that, I actually want to fill up the tank once more before an error message. Ah, oh, 
Perfect. Yeah, I just wanted to see if it will signal that the tank is full. Yeah, well, obviously it will. Okay, so it's it's really made for for clueless people like me. That's perfect. Yeah, now as I said, well, I want to wash some plates, three plates and a fork. And first of all, this little empty space right here is for the powder, for the detergent. So I have my powder right here. And like, that should actually be... I'm using one cup for my regular dishwasher. It's actually the same amount. So that goes in here. Then I have my fork right here. I will put this one in here, just for fun. Let's insert this knife, this butter knife and more forks. Actually, I also have a glass, a water glass. Yeah, right there, I guess. Next up, we have this plate. Then we have this plate. Actually, let me remove the big stuff. This will just end up in the filter. So this is from eggs and so it's like fat, grease, breadcrumbs. Okay, there is space for another plate. Actually, there is a lot of more space, but I'm ready. No idea how, to, yeah, I think, yeah, I think it's safe like that. Okay, closing the lid. We have dry mode, normal speed, soft, baby care. Okay, so normal mode, 69 minutes. Speed is 29 minutes, okay, why not? Yeah, let's go for the normal mode and let's, let's go. Oh, there we go. So, here we go. So, is this perfect timing or what? It's almost done. I think the flushing has already happened. And as we can see... It's done and it's quite foggy in here. So, I'm expecting heat and humidity. Yes. Look at that. Like a real dishwasher. I mean, it is a real dishwasher. But for your countertop, it's crazy. Okay, so there we go. Yep, definitely warm to the touch. Okay, so we have, oh God, oh, it's actually super hot. Okay, maybe we can try the fork. Was this the clean one? I don't know. One of these forks was dirty. This one is clean too. So all three of them are super clean. Perfect. So the glass, spotless. Perfect. Oh my goodness. This is, this is actually, this is perfect. Okay, maybe that's not a good idea. Second one. There is nothing. And the super clean grapes, I still need to eat them. And the third one, spotless. Absolutely amazing. And thanks to the heat, these last droplets will dry off. So ideally, that's what I do with my other one. I will, I would just, you know, open it up, then let the last droplets come down and the rest will evaporate. So it's definitely warm enough for that. We definitely won't need the dry feature because it's, yeah, as I said, it's warm enough for the rest to just evaporate. So this is definitely a tool suited for everyone. I'm yeah pretty much clueless when it gets to these kitchen appliances, but this control surface is simple to understand. Yeah, it's very intuitive and you don't need to be a genius. So this makes it also perfect for kids. Elderly people should have no problem with this one as well. So the results are actually surprisingly good. So it's it's like it has the capabilities of a real dishwasher and due to the portability, it's very versatile. You can place and use it everywhere, literally everywhere. You can place the drain pipe in a bucket. You can literally use this everywhere. Imagine Imagine going camping with a portable dishwasher. But yeah, I think you get the point. This will definitely get a recommendation from me. So as I said, this is my first countertop dishwasher and I was very pleasantly surprised. This is actually way cooler than expected and it's looking very refined. This is not something to be ashamed of, actually quite the opposite. This is definitely an upgrade for every flat. It just looks stunning. It looks amazing. It looks refined and I love it. All the mechanics are super solid and yeah it's it's great in every way i always have to think about these tiktoks where they're using all these awesome little devices and that's one of them literally one of these 
devices that will make your life better and easier, especially if you don't have the place for a full-sized dishwasher. This is super convenient and super practical. You can literally plant this in every flat, no issues whatsoever, and, and then you have a dishwasher. Washing dishes with your hands it's completely crazy. <laughs> Anyways, if you're interested, then check out the links in the description. I will make sure to list and link the best deals for you. And before you go, smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy your day and I will see you soon.